Good afternoon, I'm Sergeant First Class Robert Myers. This here is my son-in-law, Nolan Clark, and this here is my grandson, Hudson Robert Clark. We're here today to talk to you a little bit about the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Nolan, tell me briefly why you're a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Ooh, I am a Pittsburgh Steeler fan because I was born into fandom. Uh, my dad is a fan, and they live in a small city called Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Latrobe, yes, the beer where they have. Uh, they used to make Rolling Rock beer, but they have the Steelers training camp every year, so it's a part of the family. That's excellent, great. And when was the Steeler franchise first formed? And if you know, who was the person that formed it? Yeah, the Steelers franchise was formed by the Rooney family, Arthur Rooney. It's still owned by the Rooney family. His uh, one of his sons runs the team now. But what, it was founded on July 8th, 1933. Where did the name come from? Uh, Steelers is spelt with two E's in the middle because Pittsburgh was um, one of the biggest steel manufacturers in the world uh, at the time the Steelers were founded. All right, thank you. And who was the main contributor to the Steeler franchise in terms of its development? Uh, it would definitely be Arthur Rooney, the, the owner. Uh, but I would say... Uh, Throughout the years, the consistency in ownership and the head coach has what uh, has is what's helped it with that. No, oh, excellent. And is the Rooney family still involved in the franchise? They are, yes, completely involved. All right. What I'm going to ask you for now is your personal opinion, and you know how I feel about this. But some of the top Steeler players in history. Mm, in Steelers history, um, the best player on the Steelers. All time, according to the critics, is uh, Mean Joe Green. Uh, but in my opinion, the the top five Steelers of, of my lifetime are Troy Polamalu, Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and Heinz Ward and Heath Miller. In your opinion, I'd like you to give me some key milestones, one good, one bad, in the Steeler history. Ooh, in the Steelers history, uh, well... One of the most famous Steelers milestones is the Immaculate Reception, which led to a Super Bowl victory, and then um, one not so good. Um, oh gosh, I have so many good memories. I would say my least favorite memory as a Steelers fan is when they lost to the Browns in the first round of the playoffs of 2020. So give me your idea of what embodies the Steelers franchise. The Steelers franchise is uh, built off toughness, uh, consistency, and a zero tolerance for nonsense. Well, thank you very much for your time, Nolan. And for you, Hudson. And back to you at the SLC class.